Proposal for a nearly $2 billion plan to settle tribal water rights in the Flathead Basin took a major step forward today. Federal officials told the U.S. Senate Indian Affairs Committee the proposal could avoid decades of litigation and save taxpayers billions of dollars. MTN's Dennis Bragg reports on what will be the largest tribal water settlement in the country's history. It was just over a year ago Senator Steve Daines introduced the Montana Water Rights Protection Act, a sweeping bill that aims to resolve decades of dispute over treaty water rights for the Confederated Salish and Kootenai tribes. It's not cheap at $1.9 billion, but would see the tribes permanently relinquishing their water claims in return for a massive package that would improve fish and wildlife habitat, make vast improvements to the Flathead's irrigation system, and create a huge surge in jobs. Daines told his colleagues getting to this point hasn't been easy. Negotiating with the tribe, local leaders, farmers and ranchers, state legislators, county commissioners, the administration, and other key stakeholders to find a solution, one that permanently settles the CSKT water dispute, protects the water rights of all Montanans, and avoids costly litigation. There is a saying in, in, in water settlements, first in time, first in line. It's hard to get ahead of Native Americans as far as being first in time. And so consequently, we need this. We need this water settlement for Montana. We need it for predictability. We need it for certainty. We need it to be able to continue to grow our economy. And the economic impact is massive. The Interior Department told Danes estimates are without the settlement, Montana agriculture could suffer a $1.3 billion hit through thousands of litigated water claims that could take decades to go through water court. Additionally, this settlement will support approximately over 500 jobs, permanent jobs, as well as almost 5,000 temporary construction jobs that will be set forth by uh, this legislation. Tester, who had similar legislation that stalled four years ago, wanted to know if the administration was now satisfied of the question of sharing costs of the settlement. These last number of years has really been a cooperative uh, agreement and cooperative work with both the reclamation, uh, with multiple meetings and getting together, as well as the Indian Water Rights Settlement Team. The committee left the record open for additional information over the next two weeks. Dennis Bragg, MTN News. Dane says he'll amend the original bill to include language clarifying accountability for all that spending in the years to come.